This season on Kevatu. Fatu. Oli. in the history of the Gambia, Gambia Printing Publishing Corporation proudly introduces the Bibliomatic Exercise Book Printing Machine. The machine has the capacity to print more than 20,000 books per hour. Yes, 20,000 books per hour. It also prints magazines, newspapers, calendars, flyers, normal books and all kinds of printed documents plus items at affordable prices. With the Bilomatic printing machine, GPPC can now render high quality and non size restricted printing service supply across the sub region. Rush now and partner with GPPC for all your public and private printing service needs. Print with us today, and you'd be offered highly professional, reliable, and efficient service delivery by our team of experts. The Gambia Printing and Publishing Corporation is here to meet all demands and is reliable at all times. For more info, contact us on 437-4493 or 437-4402. GPPC is Gambian and it's yours. When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Assalamu alaikum badi mo ngal bismillah kir fatu bi arami salungola kum kaki nyami ndrong arami so arami sa ngana jang grts ani mol minya lang koi benji beka na facebook oto ani youtube channel oto ngal bismillah kotenke na program oto kum ngafu nyami ndrong hani sa en season follow program follow follow lo community minya lang kongi kere kere karna kakacha natali Bayri ngafunya mi 2021 me election ni elekono. Bayri ni election usita drong akumaya tabake mul mi ni alonko ibi patiyo la operatives kono ki nati na kakacha patiyo lodoral patiyo ibi mundo kule la kama make sure anin fanang amanke drong politik kumulti bari itol lafta mune kela banku dingole akumaya tabake olewala na bi ngamomudu sabali soto jam former secretary general mi alonko fanang keta nun director general of GRTSD ay plus ba mo tayo ng nimbang ko kam, bari b ngayon yung politiko ko na niya min nenema yung ko na politiko ko na, ako maya ta kabrab na nunjau anata yung nunsila do, amanta na nung partiyo ko na, bari niin na for the first time kabring ay a kita registered member of a political party ti niin na siya for na pa kachala, alam mo mga obesya rin ba kaya kabring ako maning kaya ko it seems like ko itel ba trend kanya wato ko na, wata ako maya tanga na tikir faru oli, tay sabal mo isunggan. Nyu dalam la firak mohon untuk sahabat, kami nak fatu herak. Tiada pelajar baru isi former government. Isnain la nak si thamit betai belanga officially join party. Isnain la ay natala gue. Wah, hamga ni ni mom dah nyus spekulasi la boka file la boka duga nafi. Wah, fok na lagi mom mohon untuk sahabat film boka jarak tu telat teh. Mohon untuk sahabat film boka mom lulu ler na. So tay kami ni kau her six months five months into. 2021, nyep ningko wahai road to state house. Mune kabe na togu bo ham ne mom. 18 political parties as we speak right now. Nyoko neka di sentu, nyoko buga. Nasun jame be ega nyep di neng tahau wai fin tolu ni dar. Am neng ninga ham ne one neng ne buga neng plus bilivin. Momo de sabali tam neng kasi ko ham ne mungse japele the UDP party. So di na interesting thora pur muah nyu nakalam fade me muah beter muah nyu lutah UDP. Nakalafade me at 2020 vidal, 2021 bi nukanjebdewa he karta rekalentere 
talks their house dina interest bo dina leer sama le bari jenning ka dum ka cha ko no folo folo ke bismillah ko ma fa ñaami drom kir fatu ko tenke bayri dina tan jang bari yi e go bari kabri officially dum tap politico ko no ñu ne la signa folo ti ke bismillah kir fatu bari mo min be jibe wala baraka am be la moy la ni jibe dal be content na mba fo dal fa nay congratulations Season four, Thank Gambia you. media landscape among easy. So mm -hmm. Alia Katale, yeah. Rama Iru okay. Alafala. I mean. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gumsel. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say that 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 I'm Mune beto lubulu ye mune sito gambe nol. Bari jani nkata hao beto. Officially imu UDP member. Yes. Wo decision o nata nyadi le sabali. Bairi tonya tonya sabali. Moja maya fuko sabali. APRC kuti ye sabali APRC mamminkai. Dolo ko imu honorary member le fangote hanisai APRC. Bari APRC imu ka wolma. Hanisai. That's funny. Imu ka wolma. Imu ka APRC ma. Bari mune wo decision o nata nyadi le. Uh, Kapati ulbe uh, jibe Gambia kadum UDP. What decision on that nyadi? Well, uh, among the decision to make along go ulita le wrong barata ngake. Kato mm -hmm. kabring masa kunda falinda 2017. Yeah. Uh, uh, His Excellency, uh, former Vice President, or you say nda bo nsi taleng kachata. Na mfama dilet lam marom. Ule mbulu muta ya nsambaya. Ato barobe Dakar, uh, government man form for it, but a mararu jawoto. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the late lamin da mundiba, I think both said he can sit and catch at her. Uh, Lang marongole ingani yo soto ko, ay batake patio ye. Mm -hmm. Ala makamo fango futata patio to wato, uh, makamo me alonka ay afilo ka la karangota maso pura ay odoku oke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ala fta pur, abe plaso mento, ay doku omen kente kontine. Ato mm -hmm. at least in the karantala. Ha. Ala mani yo, nkachata. Ma fai ha, ma fai hani. Mm -hmm. Ma ya kachake. Mbota je, man decision ta ka join UDP. Because wato Gambia man sakunda be nyam. Ntengalon ko coalition government be fail lale. I said it. Yeah. I was in jail at the NIA during the political impasse. I was happy that Jame lost the election. Because Jame had to go at the time. Mm -hmm. But a few days later, nga je Fatmata Tamba Janyul ni other coalition members ika diyamu nyamen halifa sa janyul. Nga alon ko nyun mam man sakunda long ita sambala no. Bakari Fati GRS na tebe nka yo ko in government be fail la Bakari Fati kamfata ko watun to be be kamfari jamme kala ya fanan soro ngadu jamme ma fanan na molti no Bakari kamfata nka e Bakari nka e nganyum bam kolon fast forward 2 years later Bakari Fati ko nyam nyam wuli olde nka e manke wuli ti nka korosi role ke nga Gambia long public service be nyame nge lon ne politician ol dam antene be to nya fala politician ko mul nene public service e jama ba kalabante wo self interest dol bi jey fangol ko politician ko ngof say nyola do kedan ko politician government so ndenga non government te wok la wala na man rosh kadum baro wato mo jamale be dun kan UDP de wato UDP be jey mo jamale dun ta ndenga na time ta his excellency raju senu da bon na alpha mu nyaring horo mo bati na te ma na ta 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 ala foreign affairs office na ka sin ka kacha ala korra ko no na ta ra vice president office bari man decision ta be bon ko korosila and and honestly at that time 
nanga ni wolem pour adama baro ay succeed ala man sakunda hmm in the beginning ni ko ngay criticize mo buka song ngoy al nga chance ya ban tata nga ko wol korosi na don ko baro ata make la anata udp bay nak kab nga udp bay ala man sakunda ngaji mafia le man sakunda hijack kidol be dunna drogol be dunna senegali sol lim forina sol banko kengo be daoda ya di tolela ku mane wol be kela baro be tila bi ta banko fo banko mo buka lo akata menti president mu meo ko nyin nyanta bola jele fonding kewol ami hati i promise wol be beke aya be bay ko sa nak it's about time to salvage this country this is a liberation struggle for me il after do ko wala fatu may be kenya jamale la famay yorona la el kato be wol trakito be loring yani be el kato tala ite trakito tala ba ndol badi bon kolde be wala kel kato ndol nyamen tal ndol manke ki yankati so pati yo men se uh, ana baworo ana la keren kafo npp pati yo men se bondi jangol en united democratic party the only dynamic and inspiring leadership of his excellency the president in waiting al haju se no dabo na decision ta ka dunje based on their policies they men safe ya landi based on concrete action they took on a platform that is very close to my heart youth development ise ko ba jaadu nyolta ye ye député yandi on a rawul sana jaara nyol ya kum ba jaayta nyol talib ben souda ya ke meyoti rahim malik lo landing sane fodi danjo ke mo si senyol ke mo ke mo bo janyol ngo modu sabalde a ni la france sorra ni fonding ke wol ye ko ke ngo this is the party be dun na yeto nyaal fo di amo siaba ha dol fanko fang be udp ne ne kana was not gonna stay the whole fole nfa ngola ke ba kam fa da general bakso mm to write title in a boy of smartness a kam fa da ko sa i'm former boy of smartness but han wo manji jaade be sabati ring ngo udp is the place to be a year later i can say for sure i wanted to make this post on facebook today i couldn't see the right picture but what i wanted to post is after a year i can surely say and safely say that joining the united democratic party under the leadership of his excellency elaju senurabo is the best decision i ever took in my life and our baro and his npp gang of squirrels they can take their millions and pick up some staying in udp oh. yes so basically um si ninko understand it momuru sabali mom joined udp because of opportunity as every yeah. as a lot of people you know ham ne wax ni ni wax nañ ko ne ah sabali de try na fi demu try na fi demu so legi finally mu ngi mujje udp because dey gomna yakar na ne ne udp is the no. next so, defense so, so mu dem duga fofu na but then as you've clearly stated ne da nga join because of their policies and yes. something that's there to your heart nga gis ne ñu ci duga so some of these policies apart from the youth um, development empowerment sorry being just mentioned what are these policies nga ham ne mo la draw to the UDP party because i want to believe that there there were times before mm. where hamne you have criticized the party because of hina ninga gise ñuy doxale ak yoy board so they may make a decision to go with them because of their policies and so you just mune wax yan of what these policies are and you know but you i don't think i've criticized UDP any much during any period not much before i joined point, mm-hmm. i've had issues with individuals yeah, yeah. Uh, street battles and i enjoy that you hit me with sabal you do me or do you man you like effects. battles though yeah i love them you so but, but other than that you always, had one with me too yeah right? absolutely <laughs> that's uh, instigated by some some hypocrites and i'm glad they have been excised from the kerfatu platform like tumorous cancers you know <laughs> <laughs> so what kerfatu is here to say and fatu to raise more sabal is sister no matter what no matter what yeah, yeah. so So the, I've never like had a problem with the party itself mm-hmm. and uh, even when I used to have issues with individuals because what happened was it was mainly when I was criticizing the coalition government mm-hmm. and some UDP individuals felt that I should not even speak in this country and I told I came up with my hashtag can't cage me and still nobody can cage me so back to the policies mm-hmm. youth development is a core one uh, of, uh, if you look at the health plans they have top notch you look at agriculture mechanization and other issues uh, entrepreneurship and as another aspect of udp is a grassroots party mm-hmm. as opposed to some of these mafia cabals like npp which i see as a venture capitalist uh, property people also saw a, a, a company that they could invest in and, and reap the invest like build a house in mankamankunda hopefully after 2021 you will be given some part of the national cake udp is different it's a grassroots party 
mainly populated by people who are uneducated, you know, and uh, really believe in the, in the UDP ethos being there 22 years. But often, you know, you know, so Lulu Tam is because man I'm a grassroots guy. Man suma pa jangut suma ya jangut. I was born in a printing house at about 84 Perseverance. Grew up in a banku bongo in Lamin. Uh, took my drinking water from a well. Kerosene lamp was quite a luxury when you had to deal with candle. Go to school, you know. Dulian gai gel gel live in candle wax. Nga nga dugal ko famusei. So, so ko rivo, daimi hamatan. Wow, so I am that dude, and I've yeah. never left that connection. As a poor body bunka kid from the ghettos, whether I was secretary general or a prisoner or director general of year, I was always connected with the grassroots. And if not the policies, just that, they're the real people of this country, not the Kairava Ayuvenu boys or the mafia, the real people. But where they belong, that's where I belong, and that's where I'll stay forever. Speaking about these policies, um, we've had, we've seen, had politicians, individuals, always yeah. they have things on paper. Yes. But we would just want to know how it would be implemented. Good question. Um, because Sabal, you were in government. You yes. know government. Absolutely, um, without a doubt. Um, yes. Absolutely. Secretary General yes. of Presidential Affairs, and mm. obviously, mm. Um, the political one, because obviously, you know, APRC, you know, you and you general of GRTS and of observer. You know government. Um for only coming for policy so casual. I'll be means a fella on paper. But how is the question? How do you implement this? Allah ni nin karo kum maya ta bar sa ali kan saba da fasurwa kan ofata manika kan ofata tuba kan ofata Allah fanga jabi ro ke kan juma la. Ya jabi mu min Ite musuru wa ite manika kire ba bula fo manika wa yamoi nga moi le oli e menyi ninka to nyalem ka safero ke kaito bala asone yata mansa kunda la taransi ro bar kawo tamandi mansa kunda wala te lo kole yata fanka dum arjanati i'm telling you nim banko kan ni banko la tariko jibe in terms of economic development from yeah. Jawara Stacy to down to Yaya James Vision 2020 down to this uh, Adama Baros uh, how do you call it NDP mm -hmm. Nitata through the history uh, strategy for poverty alleviation and growth uh, you had this thing they call Sparko uh, ERP mm -hmm. almost all of them failed nothing has worked because Menketa, there is not much original policy thinking in this country. Most of our policies are cut, copy, and paste from the IMF, World Bank. Mansakunda Dokula Jibe, Ela Minister Solani, President Nive Diamola. I come for Millennium Development Goals. World Tambita Saikonya, the SDGs. Ibe Muru Sabari Mula Nani Diamu Siabi Nanada Mulanko SDG, Unko Millennium Development Goals, because it is still a New York. Bunjangol Santome along Kanin Sango Fanga City at Anola. Eco, Badibunko la problemo, made Badibunko dimi, Italy along, Italy be all a solution kela, or Kianko, it doesn't make sense. So, well, on a policy implementation, kake problem ti, and patio patio policy safe, there is no guarantee ko, iba implement lale. Bari, near patio settlement come to UDP, Melanco Caranal be ye, many alonque do coke no mansacunda, conte an inyol and a mante, Jamal be ye, many alonque do coke no mansacunda. Many alonco fanang, ye do coke bantala bancola, your experience finance or will baby ye. But in the main hope I have for UDP, because policy implementation, regardless of which party wins, is going to be a problem. I want to be on the record for that. Yeah. It is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. But if you have a party leader and secretary general like His Excellency, the Honorable Allah Yusim Mudabo, Who's been who's lived in his this country his whole life? He knows the in and out of this country. He's taught the entire length and breadth of this country for more than 22 years, directly connected with the grassroots. Has a technical team that's world class. And this is my main hope with Al Haji Hussein Dabo. And this is what I'm banking on that his government will not fail. He's humble and he listens. That's the key word. He listens. I know all the problems that will be faced if a new government sets, sets its foot in state. I know them. There will be problems. But if you have a leader like His Excellency Asar Alayu Usain Udabo, there is no wall that you cannot scale. But just yes. talking, you just sealing our name. Mm -hmm. 
he is a humble person. Lord, in a good man, a technocrat, you call him. But remember, the new do you know, Kessen, you definitely gave You have the civil service. Yep. Yes. The new implement most of these policies. Yes. So, how would you guys tackle that? Because everybody now believes ne, the civil service it's good. But there's still a lot of things that needs to be improved. Actually, so it's, if not you, good. it's not good. I think you, you're, you're being nice to them. No, I'm not nice. being nice. That I'm didn't process things, syntax, you will worry. No, no, no. Things <laughs> need to be done. Things need to be done. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree to that. Mm -hmm. But at least they're doing it's not good. their things. So well, now. Well, 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 so, Savali, Negi, you know, you want to send policies you need to implement because you know, you know, you know, the driving, the technocrats would be the driving force. But you know, you can see conductors there and everything. How would that too fall in place? Well, uh, I'm actually very happy with these questions because these are the questions we need to ask and practically nobody is asking these questions. Yeah. And if anybody from any political party assumes that you have the best policy documents and this rotten public service is going to implement it, you will fail dismally. Yeah. So what's going to happen for any serious government is to first try to have a, a, a antivirus to clean all the viruses in the public service. All these uh, square pegs in round holes and it's gotten worse under Adam Abaro. We were criticizing Jami for hiring and firing people. What Baro did? Jami did not do it in 22 years. What Baro did in four years? How many secretaries general? How many switches of permanent secretaries? Left, right, and Ken Bohamud Bokobe again. The permanent maybe, secretary maybe at the technical ministry, like yeah. information, communication, infrastructure, is a letter writer. Hamud Dara CFE ICT. And you can name a thousand and one of, one, one of them. People who've been indicted in corruption, they are still serving in those positions. They don't even care about, about government. So you have all, any serious government, antivirus, flush out all the rotten, rotten potatoes. This is not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy for anybody because of the nature of our society. It's a small society. Yeah. yeah. So my one, two, either Oli will call me or Fatu will call me. Yes, yeah. This is the reality. Yeah. But somebody has to be bold enough to do it. Yeah. I will quote the late Honorable Lamin Dambundiba. One day I visited him. He was sick. We had a long chat. He gave me a lot of advice on the party, on what's going to happen when we take over the government. He said, Muru, I can tell you one thing. A UDP government in the first two years will be very, a very unpopular government. I said, yes. I said, for the first time I've heard something that I really think I needed to hear about this party. We have to clear the swamps, as they say in Washington. It's not going to be easy. The public service, as is, will not deliver it. But I believe that Haji Usain Udabo, who's uh, learned a lot of lessons, both in school, out of school, in his practice, in government, I think he has what it takes to take the bull by the horns and do the needful. But more than mm, more Haji Usain Udabo seems to be a very... Seems to be. I yes. like your choice of words. A very quiet, yes. natured person. Yes. Kubuga Ifidelo Njukal Amlumo mm. said he's part of society. He's yeah, part of new state. Yeah. So for, for me mm -hmm. to believe ne Momrek, he would be that bold to do it. I, I, Maybe I, people around him can, but, but him as a person. Well, he, he has seems, a team. Yeah, he seems but very, don't you know. over ever, <laughs> I'll quote this. I know Fudi Samata will laugh if he hears this expression. It's been in the political circles for quite a while. Don't ever underestimate the determination of a quiet man. For this matter, wherever you are, we'll have this debate later. But don't do it. Don't underestimate Usain Dua. You know, I did a lot of findings before I went into UDP. The last conversation I had before I took the decision. UDP, my sister is a founding member. My uncle, you named them. But I was very curious about some of these concerns you were raising before I get in. Because Mahamna, I cannot afford to go into UDP and then go out again because nobody will take me seriously. My last conversation with Ibrahim Adiba was held at a restaurant just next to the party leader. I said, is Allah Yusin Udawa in charge of his part, this party? He said, yes. I did a question on taking decisions. He said, you don't know the man. He said, he will consult on everything. But when it's time to take a decision, when he makes up his mind, he means business. And I believe, like we all have our natures, I think uh, he's a humble guy, he's a nice guy, he's connected in society. But I say, you've gone through a, a lot of light life experiences that has prepared him to do the need needful pull fompa rongoni jigeni same pachonki jigeni sare bojoi jigeni nyomi if mumudu sabali is going to come and try to play games with alhaji usenu dawo because mumudu sabali was a star in the political 
firmament and he was bringing people into the party and he feels if he becomes any minister he should travel and take party M. I believe Usain Rabo has more respect for the likes of Nogong Yai, for the likes of Sukai Dahaba, for the likes of Fatu Kamara, for the likes of that fuller woman in Sare Boyo who's been there with him in the trenches before Mumuru Sabali ever thought of getting into politics. If mm -hmm. I'm going to mess up with the lives of those poor people, I believe Usain will kick me out. And I'll be there to help him to kick myself out and any other person who needs to be kicked out. Yes. If you for your me and Kakumaza back in, um, call Wallam, um, UDP, the Minukela, uh, radical decisions, he believed to go, uh, like Usain back in Olale, Naketa Masakundati. Yes. Modo se jiki no alale. Mbairi, nina kachata wacho wa rakafuko. Ni lafta UDP mansakunda aljela. KMC jube talib basa mbaka nyami. Abe transformation wa minkika. The kind of leadership abe minkika. To nyalo. Akweta le mote wo so so la taliban suda is doing an amazing job. Aya afufa nanko. Ise rugilo jube abe minkika mbanjul. Ise danjo jube abe minkika. Ise la mayor sol ni governor sol jube. Bari, mto wile filo kaya jube. Usi inu dabo kabrabe mansakunda. Atifana ya muneke. Mbala fila jibel, amadu sane, kabrabe masakundaye muneke. Kabri la munda mudi bawe masakundaye muneke. That is also a reflection. Yes, me KMC jibel, me banjul jibel, me nyundol jibel. It will find kabri bije, ye mu influence le use. Because obviously, if all these policies mu feneti miya alonko, ala futaka akela, muna hati na kabrabe masakunda, ala me influence no, within. Ato ila, tonya, tonya, ila, 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 ya fonya kwenye interview wa kola ya la, bara ama sone ya anak. Ati sone ya nola. But the good thing is, nyini nkarol membe keka njang, I hope ko students of politics and public administration will record this conversation and keep it. Yeah. Because I don't think I've ever had a conversation. We are joking, talking about a lot of trivial, superficial issues on social media. These are the issues we need to deal with. We need to talk about, yeah. I believe any casual observer of the borough administration would agree that it was a better, more functional, more respected, respectable government when Al Haji Usainu Daba and Ahmadu Sane and Lamin Dambundiba were there. It was a better government, even in the eyes of the international community. And that's why they were able to get the trust and confidence of the global donor community who gave them upwards of 1.5 billion euros. A pledge that went into thin air when he kicked them out because the international community recognized that the Syrian ones are out. It's only squirrels borrowing away into the national heap of groundnuts and taking away our national resources. But don't you Having said that, <laughs> I don't think the borough administration was perfect when Alaji Usenu and Ahmadu and Lamin Dambung were there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was perfect. But having served in a government even more complicated than theirs, I know the power of an executive president that no matter how crucial your, your, your ministry is, you cannot always have it your way. And, and these were some of the explanations I, were, I was giving, like my previous interview. Hey, look, you know, you one person in government. It's not that you can influence a whole cabinet or a president that has a grip of power. So I believe Al Haji Usainu, Ahmadu Sane, Lamin Dambung, they did their best, and the government was better when they were there. But they had limitations because Baro, immediately after the impasse, was surrounded by these greedy wolves, business people with questionable records. Why? So, so they, they had their, their challenges, but I believe that was also a perfect learning period so that when they come again, we'll hit the ground running. Yes, um, if yes. you say a learning period, that yeah. I would definitely agree to. Well, just going back, um, I think Gambia, when we change, when mm -hmm. there was dictatorship, because everybody somehow was involved, mm -hmm. I think that also not necessarily these, like the Usain Dabos and them, of course, they're part of it. But internationally, I think everybody was happy for the country. Yes. So there was a lot of doors that were open. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of opportunities for the country. Yes. Not solely because maybe the international committee didn't feel, ne, okay, we have these three people here. This is a no-brainer, Oli. No, no, no. I'm just, I haven't finished. Carry Not on. because ne, they have these three people. But then things were open. Things were good for the country. Why? Things were good because, because the right ask, people were there. No, the question far to ask, it's a question that has still not been really answered properly and this is a question that has been going around everybody whenever we talk about his excellency people will always say bimfaneke really lala dev and coming back I'll to you, you said no wait let me finish mm. coming back to you saying baro surrounded by people criminals yes fine. literally but um everybody knew the influence somebody like usenu dabo had over baro so that is why a lot of people beg to differ with this, that um, he was because, more of an executive president, because everybody believed that 
when Usain Dabo says to Barra jump, he would ask, how high? <laughs> people even believed that he was afraid to sack him. You it know, was only uh, after maybe two years that people felt that, okay, now Barra is bold enough to say, okay, I need to go on a separate way. And, but then the first few, one, the first one year, everybody, including myself and a lot of other people, believed that Usain Dabo was the one that was controlling the narrative. He actually was not, and I know I challenge him on this yeah. on Gis Gis. I asked him this, and he clearly made it, he made it clear that he was not in control of this government. He is a cabinet minister with a portfolio and responsibilities, and decisions are collective decisions. So I think it was a false narrative that was out there. Okay. And Alayu Usain Udawa, being the man of honor and dignity and integrity that he is, he would not come out as a sitting cabinet minister to spill the beans on certain issues. And he said that on this case as well. Okay. Barros government was hijacked by this mafia uh, business people who played no role in his election. Immediately they knew that he was installed. Barros first trip was where? Virtually Congo. Congo. To Congo. do what? He went with an airplane. What did he bring in? Was Usainu on that plane? There were other trips where Alaji Usainu was left out even as foreign minister. So there, there was a perception there that he was in control. He was not. He had a portfolio for him. And he opened up the Gambia effectively within a year to the international coming. It's a record in the history of diplomacy in this country, true to his own character of humility, openness, and inclusiveness in his approach to all issues. He did his bit. The box stops only one place. Man <laughs> the box yeah. stops with the president. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, and I've said this all the time, mm -hmm. your connection with the youths, mm -hmm. um, even at the level of uh, Secretary General, mm -hmm. Director General, mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can even cite the SLA, Mia Longo, Ya Lundi Purka Fundinkel, Empower. Mm -hmm. And we have seen that relationship growing. Mm -hmm. But you served as Project Director. Mm -hmm. And you know a lot about how our money is, where is this? Akadunda, Makafinti Dami. UDP Mansakunda, Bemune Kelaka Fundinkel, Sementuya. Because obviously, for the past couple of years, for B, it seems like funding kill me from the man sakundal kono bake. Um, B, baro man sakundal tonya tonya. I think it was just recently covering obviously a lot of crying. I just go funding kill na tama sakundal kono. But when it comes to when it comes to ka funding when it comes to ka funding kill seven two position for votes. Carry on. When it comes to it's usual momodu sabi. Don't worry, you're used to me by now. When it comes to ka funding kill seven two, I think we mune kela. Funding kill because um, funding kill batata mm. That is true, and it's very sad and unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to my my lieutenant commando, code name Napoleon. Yesterday he said this country is very hard. I said yes, yeah, and there's not much money. He said beyond money, people are stressed, people are disillusioned, people are depressed. And I said, yes, you are right. The young people of this country have lost hope because of lack of proper leadership and inspiration, guidance, mentorship, and counseling. It's completely dead in this country. And the budget, unfortunately, I'm sure you have all, only everybody has been complaining about the crumbs, the, the, the fix for the youth ministry when it comes to budgeting. Mm -hmm. What's happening in budgeting in this country is nothing has changed. It's cut, copy, and paste year in, year out. And I know why that happens. I'm, I'm not very hard on government in terms of budget because there's le very little room for maneuver. The budget is tied down in uh, personal emoluments, that salaries, debt service, which it be, more than ever for development. And practically government, Mansakunda Mantra Kudiyama Dapans Kampuru Iruwa Kuola Ika Julo Letter and in so role many along ko bantal bankul kan soala wodo ni udp man sakunda nata iko ibe nyalo la man sakunda la namo da malikam budget pour ka fondin ke wol ma koy atakela no bari men kum ma yata ase doya nyawo nya man sakunda e sen landi nga je koy ni ne dapans ay fondin ke kilim fula saba nani lulu na fale is that complicated you don't have to go to harvard university to do that this criminal government just gave out 1 billion dollars to dr amadou samate and the guy has the temerity, the nerve, the audacity, the arrogance to tell an investigative journalist, I'm not going to give you the figures, as if the money belongs to his own family. If you can give one billion for Corona, the youth situation is more serious than Corona. 
We're dealing with uh, a potential for high robberies, rape, even infiltration of terrorists with the, with the loose environment we have in this country now. So I think the UDP Masakunda Kodo Nyanta Lani Lale Kana Foko Ibe Ye Project Lebatula or Project Project. Let them come boy and the government should do something mm -hmm. and the udp government has to do that yeah. there is no if or whether or when about it it has to happen the good thing is the policy framework is right in udp youth empowerment through entrepreneurship and skills development that is there a policy is there but what i love about the udp and one of the reasons why i joined this party we know government can't do it alone the budget i mean i mean look uh, no matter how hard we are on government, we know there are constraints. Yeah. There is a budget constraint. Every economist knows that. Mm -hmm. And there is very little room to maneuver because you have the IMF over your head. Borrowing has to limit. You have like Man Yang Yai with his megaphone here speaking as if uh, borrowing in the economy is like a cardinal sin. It's not. It depends on how you spend the monies you are borrowing. But what I love about UDP, there has to be a level of self-reliance and creativity within the society to help our young people. If a doya tanya wanya, if an e funding kid and dang ye tale do kuodira, do le jam fighter te fan some business or the dabarubi mwila o piri wallet. You understand? Yeah. Uh, Oli is into business, I'm so here and there, she hires people for her events. You know, it, it's not just government. Yeah. I, from this recording, I'm going to meet uh, the party leader and secretary general. We have a very dynamic, creative young person who's brought together dozens of young people in an association where they contribute money give it to young people to go and set up their poultries, give them a timeline to pay back the money, and it's working. So that's the beauty about UDP. And you know, they say our party leader is Ayatollah, amen, so be it. <laughs> if he says jump, we say how high. If Allah Yusin Udaba comes, presents a budget, this is what we are doing. Youth, contrary to Adam Abaro's time, I'm not going to build a, a mansion in, uh, in, in Dogo. I'm going to give you like 100, 200 million. Youth Entrepreneurship Fund, directly from your tax money. Usain Udago says that. I said, youth, I cannot do everything. I have a constraint. We want voluntary organizations. We want our diaspora, because we own the diaspora, to create a fund for youth entrepreneurs. It's going to happen. So fair enough. No government can do it alone. But UDP has a budget. And also, goodwill, support, solidarity, that we are going to tap. And we'll tap well. And we will tap well. I will know the fact only New Jersey Force Commercial Break. We know it. The name was C Security Department. I'm not solo. I learned my Sabali Gis Gisam C Security Department. I'm told only Monday was not on record. New Bragal name. I'm going to make a secure sang Ragal. Why tam um like a num share a mom as an economist. I dig on a minister be munema mune um the world prize is in UE. Tell all the galanak. I don't know if you can see the people who are in the world. I'm going to go to 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 the world. Thinking of owning your dream homes, EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms, or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 32592200.
or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Fay lempo waru galasi kepo ko hamne domi reo minga ak nyufi deke. Bufeke ne chi atmi sa kom kom wesu na nyar fuka ak nyenti june dalasi. Mbete wer buneka dinga amluto lusi nyari june dalasi. Lempo silangurgi di sukande kuungi lige yokute reo mi. GRA moi banghas bunguri gambia sas. Ngir mu feye ku lepo lui lempo chibi reo mi. Betakna GRA di yegal fey kati lempo ine waru gala pur nyu fey lunyu nan withholding tax on contract payment. Ma nam bepa contract bu way joxe te ci bi rew mi lañu tokkon xaalisi contract bi ngeen nangoto war nga ci wañi ci xayma témer bu neka fuka bu féké né contract bi dekku ci bi rew mi bu boba di nga waro wañi témer bu neka fuka ak jurom li moy lempo bu ñu nan withholding tax on contract payment li moy lempo bi nga xamné yow mi joxe contract waru gal la nga wol batiku dem fey ko ci makani jiaré tax office bu la gëna jégé mbété ci banque yi jiaré jagléel pour fey lempo war nga djebal lempo bi ci diri fuki fan ak jurom ganaw bi nga wagné ci xali ci contract bi amul ben contracto bu ñu téggel fey lempo bi xana mu fekk né nguri gambia ñoko djégalé bolé ci project yi nga xamné mbotay ndimbali ñokoy dépense jra di fey ku lempo ngir yokuté réew mi ignore_time_segment_in_scoring ci loto gaming gambi bi la lal darna ko lal na ci lu di waaw nga dafa am quartier am kente am cherse waaw manam nak tay ji kente bi la te jackpot be passé xaliss kente moy lan kente manam moy juroomi fassi waaw benen bi am na quartier moy moy ñent fassi ak cherse tay nak xaliss bi da gëna yok lu tax jackpot bele dañ ka tegat ci bi manam juroomi fassi boko jappé ci ordre moy risque désordre bi sax day fay ignore_time_segment_in_scoring lu mu gatt gatt 50000 dollars way eh eh tierno 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 wo wala bilas lan la lu xewni sama gay deena sama sama bab gay lu ko ray 500000 dollars nako bo ma gagnalon ci lima lo yondi dama ko koy jox mu daanu li sama kaw man waxu mako mo waxewon lako non yow lako waron informer nak yow ya ko gagné ka ya gagné japp ah welcome back badi ngol kom nga fu ñaami ndoro ka tiabe diar ne oli ka tia diata bra ku mayata anka min fo drom politiko ñew ne nga wobula nga kumol fo min ku mayata because mama ñol mi be seere soko ne lafta lon na le ani mumudu sawali nata jang ate la lendo mo minti wolong economic ti ani banko taman ya ni masako nda taman di ya nyenta ani ni kala te masako nda nyadi ni to nata ba ke taman di la nyadi wolo ku mayata kadu bi be election ni yala kono mol nyenta inform decisions le make la bari bo ke no la nyadi le mumudu sawali mo ne fo Dusa ano yung munefo, Dr. Sisi yung munefo, Kari yung munefo, pati o pati yung representative, ni nata dyan, yung munefo, mwolbe wole le tala. Uto ntolfa na kumayata, nimbe kachala nga, kachala ke fen la miya nako, mwolbe wole le tala. Uto ntolfa na kumayata, nimbe kachala nga, kachala ke fen la miya nako, mwolbe wole le tala. Uto ntolfa na kumayata ole. Um, linga wakde gala fato, dafa important, fumne kani election yala, ki dem na ki nyo na ki wak na ki li, lolo tahu ni nyi jok. 2021, dafa nenka lo hamne, it's a deciding factor bo hamne, denye new gambe pretty much. Because new gambe amon na 2017, wai bete ni nye, nyi kontane, nyi kontane, wai sinye 2021. Kune ka yo, yai se, pati bi wa haki yo, kila doi, nga meko sa karta, kuny fal nyo hamne, kila nyo fal, tuko dafe nyep gomle nye from 2021, gambe dinengis a lot of changes. So lolo mom, 
nek na lo xam ni ñu bari yakar nañ ko so waxtan yi ni dafa am solo trop 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 pour ku nek ci parti bi nga bokk ngay mu non ni ñun sun parti su ñëwé li la ñoo def because naxate bi fum nek ni mo wara jé because 2021 lañu wa oli yaga na di dega di pe bu mu dawé suma nekké président dina def li dina def li so ñun ñep lolu lañ grow up especially ñun ñu grow up ci bir yaaya jamé luñu xam ci mom rek moy gom ko muy taxaw ci télé bi su waxé li nga dinga ha yaaya jamé mu né ni way fu mu nekk ni ñu bari sa ka ñun daw ñi lañ bokk politique and it's good ñun daw ñi di set di wax né ah man dé dega dega bo fele la boko ndé way bima déklo ñi fok na ñi la gina muna demal dan nga topal sa yaay ni sa yaay fi la bokka sa bo fi la bokka sa xarit fi la bokka ni fokna lolu jeexna waye su jeexul yi tam mu ngi ci yoon jeex so conversation like this dafa am solo dafa so sa wali say lafta nga ko chamina rek am nga fa watu watin ko nte ne ne silo la men silo deda na fa be ñi jëlale bari na fa mi wartante kar wo kar ñenta manu min sambalam fa mala su kon ñenta tulo min sambalay ni jabo wolle gëna ku mayata folo jani be silo lu lante am Tonya dunia be karol ni dunia be jive comme nga fa ñami té mo économiste la ci andou yaalo né ñu ngi kool ka tama ñami dunia be kono ba lu scolaire né katu mbota mi ngi kono pandémique lom yaalo ko ay kool manen di banko do waati so dafa fam mo ba mira la ko domor manko be kela nu bayri kulungol ka bo du laato kono ad laato tardel ka ke bi ko sof sa sa mi hani say mambo je économiste across the world economy be banko be hani america i ji jaata domande stock exchange and everywhere kool kolata gambia mambo wo ban kool kono gambia fanam be ko leal kono bari lafta ila perspective la la bi domoro la sero banko kam nka fo mole watu wat president baro we will keep saying this um kabri kanana coalition government including udp and all the government all the parties e ko ni nata mané boto be karim wuli ki len feng wuli ki ni bana ci la kema woro la tulo be ji la feko be ji la bi mani boto be wul kilin keme woro wul kilin keme nani man sa ko ndabe mu ne ke no la even do ko do kolyaare duniya be ko ka mek so ba do lel ila balwo way sonne ka to nyata ya jandi be silol do ko la ni brijol ni ko do moro folo ko no le fa folo man sa ko ndanya ta mu ne ke la ka wol sonne ndi abaraka nyini karo ko maya ta ban man sa ko ndabe men ke lante o fola ka to ni man sa ko nda e buke lamoy mete ya marla radiol to ila nyim platform mol to leta rol to tam men sa fe e ka publish news e pas solto ko economy iba tamandi kan nyamen anin londi tiol ya lo nyamen ana man taye la talam buru faling e man son tete ya mar lo ko tenke kitabo ka fo me summun buk mon um yon fahum la ya rojey on economy ba tamandi kan nyamen ite lam way la no ite moy ro kela ite je ro kela ite ite nanate kusute la ko tenke baro la man sakunda kabrina tay men fo la hido ledi ko fengol dabe talala but in ata sim fal menta economy la carola there was no expenditure control moto ko tolbe sanna adam baro min sera fay ticket o sanna la mo liye tama e ka pleno le loas million la ka ta bengol aten me yalo ko na fati je man sakunda la carola man sakunda ka meng dapans essence soto maintenance a siatale adam baro na sabati tanu nga bunjang man sake bu ngome be state house a sefisa ya atata ay bunjango lo kani man ka man kunda motol bi tay bi na motol bi tinyala fuel maintenance o be expenditure le ka lafa inata iko ye salary lafa by 50% na for interview to na open letter sa fetu mambure njay ning aning economy so la mira ro manta aka inflation leke ni ya doman doman a sefe iman son nan dankula jola fa ta bar jola fa ma mol na fa fengol da dan na tambi siata muneketa adwo inata ye tax la fa jul buru kan atan excessive rate killing the goose that lays the golden eggs gul buru soronta mol fota do ko la banko la kole ya la fa ta inata e ko corona bili yongol men dun ta nyim banko kan e fengol da kan men fo ye ma koy wala pour corona ale ita tay bojo do ta ci dia ya tay de bucat de national budget to di ci na fo mese billion dollars is adun ta fin de moment adun ta ta pale ya corruption nte fe aning mismanagement of the macro economy wole fengol dan na dan na dan wal da dan na tambi siya because men keta kabirin tata badi bu njay kundari nko baro na la man sa kunda kera ngol lem mba ma ya men fa ko bura ya wo kera ngye tiya tingol bu si tiya tingol la nyi mali bala fa tiya tunga wole mna namo ti na banko la na fulo juma le tamu mwul me ya lonko wole ka namo jo wole fali ngoke barona la kerangol mambure njay ñol sidi njay ñol ya busiti yati yol laybe ibe fanna fa kangala 
be yoron na lola be bunjango lola kabri nga wofo madam ma tofo akadia mu baroto ya Allah akadia mu man sakunda to ya Allah ibebe kwebe ibebe mirankeling mambo de fana be npp la baro be yele nyanku mona di ngobe mus so mam kabri nga wofo iko muna na nga barola bunjango fo manka mankunda molle ka sowala fatu quid pro quo Milton Friedman na economics wali wa kodai no free lunch nim businessman ona ta e mili e million kilindi la e sawala o businessman o e murule la officer to na mo talanye na mo talanye isa je nga 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 business okay no o na mo mo la kodo ye wala sey ndama na be profit wala sa talaje so nim businessman o be o kuriya si falla businessman o men dia ta be wala ke la economy de kuno la je wala fengol dan na tambi sia faham balia economy la tamanyala nyin da pansro me ya lonko adanna siata economic will be but in manner of business man or fanang because tonya tonya man sakunda ba fole ko am jiare tax jamal le bondi business or business la al kunto just ka make sure you e promo la ti pour ya ba fa to ngani economy lom ba kele jiare ya lom menketa tax mal la fa jam ba kede but compliance enforcement ye wolle ta ya sembin tu ya to the effect prunty effectively is an increase in tax if your monitoring and compliance was loose and i was paying 30000 on a container you tighten the screws i now pay 70000 per container effectively tax has increased the businessman is not going to pay the tax depending on the elasticity of the commodity and most of these commodities are inelastic rice sugar uh, oil mol ni wobuka talano sa ko kiyam kol so ina mo la fa nyaa nyaa ba sanale uh, businessman ol ini men ko kuru ya ke ke duku wolbe fongol da jaw yandi laite ku no la je so wolbe be kering wolbe fongol da da, da la fa tambi ni banko kan adu ngabe waja bi la dorande because baro men ka kan sign only development expenditure we take soft loans from abroad we take grants it has never happened even ya ya jame a khiram bi yep 94 the bill i schools he looked for for grants and loans from taiwan but bara is digging into the domestic economy to finance long term projects with no immediate or commensurate time wise uh, commensurate benefit for the economy so things are going to be more expensive in this country due to mismanagement of the economy and corruption because these business people are bribing look at the tax at the airport 20 dollars in 20 dollars out the intelligence i receive is that these people are promised a, a, a tax waiver and quid pro quo i think the secretary to cabinet ibrahima cc knows something about this and if our national assembly members know what their job is they should summon uh, ibrahima cc to the assembly to explain this and, and, and yankuba sedi the, the, this tax that's levied at the airport because they know something about it if you promise somebody a tax waiver and then push comes to shove and the tax authority say the law does not allow them to do it they have to levy it on, on the people that's what happened so all of those things are, are contributing to, 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 to the escalating prices in the economy so you did even like you know can you know very carry world is to election yes and all to not only to all jikita kato leba ganye yes not all ganye not all ganye i'll be money killer ka bolu also nendi nyimba nkoka kadibun <laughs> who is practically leaving a tax on Gambians a bag of flour because he is connected with Baro practically contributed to the closure of Jule Brew so that soft drinks can be imported from Senegal and render Gambia a warehouse depriving young people of gainful employment this criminal uh, fiscal policy that they are implementing at the Ministry of Finance they borrowing excessively to spend money in the rural areas to fool the voters if that stops we save money we borrow less we pay less interest and then we redirect the resources to the productive sectors of the economy that's a game changer minus the squirrels okay now um yes.
to dang of you important about the rural areas so i was coming to that so you actually we've seen you working with the grassroots especially see you on the udp party so Luma just bugaham what's the mindset with these grassroots people because um a place like kiang and i keep saying this because my, my favorite yes, people yes for a very long time musunyo gis kurang so something like kurang nyuna kiang thanks right? to yaya jame his excellency um, absolutely right. without a doubt <laughs> absolutely without a doubt yaya jame la ko ye ko leng atele ya bero la aya da pans aya bojo to to jam implementation keta Fake mo fake mo si bole ba. Is it fake mo si bole? Let's be fair to the people. Yeah, let's be fair. That's the thing. Let's be fair. Um, in life, luna ka farm stages. Jawara stopped somewhere. Jamie took over. Jamie stopped. Baro took over. Yeah, but Baro never acknowledged that. Maki Sal, when he was inaugurating the airport, had just acknowledged that it was started by what? Recently, you know, I saw I saw Badrajus. I saw Badrajus in Kanila for the first time two weeks ago. Saying the Kalinila Institute for Science and Technology is going to be revamped because it was started by Yaya Jami. I said politicians are the for the first time ever. Baro administrator acknowledges that Yaya Jami did anything good here. The elect Kiankul Allah kurang Yaya Jami la di Allah. Allah fa 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 Allah
did very well in government, but they learned something. UDP did very well in selecting MPs. A few lessons were learned. Those lessons are not lost. They will be implemented when we come in 2022, inshallah. Yeah. There'll be. So, Sai, um, we look at the security. Mm -hmm. Be, yeah, um, more worrying about our security right now. I'm not talking about external security, but I'm talking about internal security. Um, Sunya role siata, kamol new attack silo kang asiata, kamol a whole break in asiata. Nobody feels safe, and then the police will tell you, "Ko actually, um, I think it's the social media, but crime is not on the rise." So, you, what, how do you? Can you observe Nyadile and what is your perception uh, being on, in government? Like I said, you have some experience. You can see the bank of security in the bank. Well, uh, I think it's quite alarming, definitely. Uh, and you're saying, some people are saying it's social media about crime. is about, But one of Barrow's advice, as I heard, he said, it's normal. Uh, crime comes with development. I have not seen the development, but I've seen the crime. Uh, Gambia has always been known as an oasis of peace, and like you said, kudos to Yaya Jame. Despite all the shenanigans, he, he kept Gambia safe. He used to brag. I used to sit with him in the uh, state house in his office, and we'd have investors and other guests. And he would say, you know, you can go to the ATM at midnight, withdraw cash, nothing yeah. will happen. How did we lose this? It's very unfortunate, because Jame actually, if there was any piece of advice he gave to Barrow, that was it. But... Uh, through nonchalance, negligence, and corruption, again, we, we, we lost this, this, uh, this label of an oasis of peace. I think what happened, the narrative in the beginning, which was a reaction to the past human rights abuses, we, we were all talking down the security, uh, except a few of us. I yeah. remember my party saying <laughs> that even the Gambia police force will be changed into a Gambia police service. And I thought it was the dumbest comment that was ever meant. You know, it said, uh, uh, the, the Tubabs, they say, if you want peace, hold the gun. You know, uh, I think there is a, a breakdown of morale within the security forces. The army, they feel disillusioned, disenchanted. Barrow doesn't even connect with them. I've never seen him, like, go to a barracks and interact with these forces. No. Uh, the police, similar thing. We have a comic fine. Under the circumstances, Jame going, we needed it. We didn't need a comic to stay on an extended period and now they've overextended it our president is being girded by foreign forces and they are disrespecting our officers it has a psychological effect conditions of service are bad for the security officers and then you have criminal businessmen with uh, questionable records some are being mentioned in drug circles appearing with Barra in public politicking for him decorating military officers Businessmen who've been subject to investigation, building police stations, donating monies to the police and being certificated. How do you expect the police to keep an eye on these people? And the, the thing, you have all these murders, all these robberies, and then practically nothing comes out of it. So, you know, the human being, the human beings respond to incentives. If I know that if I steal all this money, I'll get caught and punished. I will not do it again. But if I know if I steal Oli's money, one, Oli will not catch me. I will do it again. Two, even if Oli catches me, Fature will say, ah, sabali, sun, bro, rabba, I will come and do it again. So there is no effective policing in this country. Police lack all the moral. And uh, the implication is beyond, you know, you're saying internal security. Mm -hmm. It's going to have external ramifications. I heard that when a jailbreak happened in Senegal, I think it was during the Usman Sonko riots, yeah. they said a lot of these hard criminals came into the country. Al-Qaeda in Maghrib is not far from us. These people are looking for fertile grounds to recruit people. If they know that Gambia, you can come in and out and do whatever you do, nobody can catch you, they will come. Youth unemployment is at its peak. We have more than three tons of drugs coming into this country. Nothing comes out of it. We just had a case of morphine. The police would not investigate and establish the facts about that, but they will track an opposition vehicle, implant a few wraps of cannabis and blow it out of proportion, make a steam out, politicizing of the security forces. We have a somebody who appeared at the TRRC with questionable records, ties to criminals and drug dealers. Before the TRRC report, report is out, Barrow is showing us that he doesn't care. We've seen how he did, celebrating people who are adversely mentioned at the TRRC and then reinstating 
at least one top security officer who has a highly questionable record for political mileage. What do you think is going to get worse? And what I fear, I just spoke to somebody, a Gambian in diaspora. He said, traveling with a Gambian passport now is a problem. Anywhere, because we regard it as a narco state. We're going to be blacklisted, and it's going to affect all of us. I know you don't smoke even cigarette, only doesn't. But if you travel next time, you're going to spend an ex extra time with the customs and with intelligence. It's very unfortunate. And um, yeah, Go ahead. Actually, again, just to add on to that, people have talked about, um, especially the police. It's not like an official statement, but you, you get to engage certain police officers, and they'll tell you, Lua bimomo ko meyutu. Like, even if in Japan, we cannot do much. So then you, you can't really detain somebody after more than 72 hours. Court, see, it takes forever before court, court you know, there's a court living. So basically, this is not only the moral of the police officers, but the law, I mean, somehow, I mean, how is the law, uh, like, flexible enough for the police to do, you know, certain I, I things? I actually think our laws are okay. Mm -hmm. I think if we go ahead and implement this new constitution, we'll have problems. Yeah. We'll have problems okay. about executive doing their job. I have those concerns, but that's for a completely different okay. topic. But the loss us is, is the IGMS loss we are using. using I think it's also, it is more but about also a leadership issue. I it think. is absolutely. Me, um, I remember only when I, when I had the former CDS, mm -hmm. and I said this, Nkaiko, Mulman still has security again. Yeah. This was two years ago, mm -hmm. and he was not happy with that statement. But... That is the truth. But that's the truth. People were not scared of the security. That's the truth. And I remember at a time, Degala, I said this, and somebody was saying, I mean, you know, for a man, you still have a president, Barry, Alpha, Bangkokang, Ira Suokono, Mansuma Papa Bumohe, Agnumuna Mel, Dina Bai. Sometimes the day bar, the yingle, the yingle, one is a dole, the wah, the yingle. There is a leadership vacuum. There is a leadership vacuum, and as I said, the narrative. Uh, the activists, Mani Jobate and Co, you know, uh, speaking as if everybody in uniform is evil, which is not the truth. I think that did not help. But the police cannot say that we don't have, we have the same laws. It's leadership of the commander in chief, current, who doesn't seem to care about anything apart from his pocket, the nice houses in Mankamankunda and the foreign trips of the family and his children. He doesn't care about anything. If the commander in chief feels like that, how would the police feel? Like Fatu said, if your commander in chief says, if you kill somebody, we're going to kill you. The police will have at least some level of adrenaline in their system. Yes. But the laws have not changed. It's just leadership, really. And I think uh, uh, there's no excuse. No police officer should give us any excuse. Do your job. If you can't do it, take off the uniform. Yes. That's it. Man, man, that's man at at some level, we have to. We cannot just keep blaming Baro alone. Yeah. No. At some he's point, the key, so, have to no. he's the key problem. He's the president. But, but as a station officer, yep. exactly. you know what to do. Yep. Yeah. I mean, right. I, I don't think any... any, any magistrate's court would have a problem of remanding somebody Definitely. who is dangerous to society if you can't keep it within 72 hours. Yeah. Let, 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 let the men in yeah, uniform do their jobs. These are the things they tell you because you... Man, I They're just finding excuses. Them. Yeah. You know, these are the things that they, they use as... Sell me first now. These are the empty. Yeah, 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 again yeah baro mom i've lost hope in him i don't think he'll ever do the right thing but let's bring the conversation down to the citizen police now yeah. mm -hmm. we're not calling for any vigilante stuff here yeah but communities can arrange themselves yes to, to police their streets mm -hmm. right now i uh, i i've seen that in talende yeah it, it's yeah. about time we yeah. did that mm -hmm. and for people to look out for for, for each other, each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah really yeah, yeah. Yeah. i've seen that from the new to be from the new lucy des uh barry wood uh why not only doing your mouth i believe it's not coffee funny somebody moved out more monkey monkey i wreck this name coffee funny would have press conference money uh mom dal why 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 borrow someone so especially the name the new co new co for hell there was an audio also somebody from Gambisara actually gene di ko threaten na sunyu we Gambisara but tonya tonya iko sabali la ko le fana mesiaka ma da ti follow sabali fiñu ko lan du no man na follow sabali sabali so il audio candidate sabali coming for president wa candidate sabali 
saben dar y la cursiar por muler añanta si ahora banco banco fanga la cole si ahora este fanga yo voy si dal mendi ya voy si ahora fanga como se si ambe o le jara ka barima me lo conjun fanga que tensión o le quiere banco ka no man tensión quiere de no man fiti na como fanga no man mo fiti mande barón a la mul o le fiti na como fanga barón fanga le follow co saya le fiti ahora es maloti the body goes where the head ayer ofo amanta mi loco en kilim fulala Moye audio bondi ya kate bota gambi sara le ninte futata gambi sara funding ke wulbeng attack la yubeng singo katila majabi on on a ratified person I got intel that he's not from gambi sara audio do not allow kang iko bubu drama leng at any rate a kole nbe diamu kang npp la regional office in urr mwumudu sabali manyanta la sara kule saate ito na atata ye funding ke wulba attack la iba singo katila I know what happened. NPP, they are in panic mode through their own audio that somebody is destroying our party. That's what they are saying. I'm sure you heard that audio. Yes. It's viral. The point is, mm. these criminal politicians, relics of the past, took money from Barrow and made him believe through tribal politics that URL is sealed and nobody, no political party will have access to URL. I'm a, I'm a buffalo soldier. I go to impenetrable fortresses. I went into Woolley. And we conquered Wuli. We laid a foundation stone for UDP in Wuli. I went to Wuli Barokunda, where Baro is claiming that's his ancestral home. I took officials of NPP, young dynamic people, coming into the UDP, wearing a T-shirt, going into town within an hour, bringing dozens of young people. They told both Baro is a lie. We brought Kaliru Ture, one of their most effective grassroots mobilizers, with hundreds of women's groups. He came and declared that he's UDP in front of the party leader and secretary general. They said it's a lie. We took pictures. They said it's a Photoshop. I took him back to the party leader and we took a video. Now panic mode. They rush. Sabali went to Wuli, brought people to UDP. I have a very cool, cordial, cozy, love relationship with Suma Kalidi Sarahulis. They love me. Love to all of us. Yes. So they feared that if I go to the Sarahule communities, they will come a mass to UDP. And that is going to happen. So they created this audio to threaten me so that I can react to the Sarahulis. I'm not a fool. I ignored. Bubu Drame did. I said, nobody will soil my relationship with the Sarahulis. Two Fridays ago, I went to the Sarahulis community in Tube Town, prayed Juma with them, go to the Imam and the mosque manager, showed me all the projects. You can't play games with Mumu Sarahulis. You don't go banjo. We are too smart for that. That's what they wanted to do. I'm resisting it, but I think the threats are serious. The last one, this last straw that broke the camel's back was a text message saying Baro Usman Sow and Abu Bakar Jawara are planning to ambush me. That was a text message. A text message. But as published. Now, this is not the first time this kind of text message came out. Only you would know. There was another message saying myself, Nyang Jai, Mari Jobate, Faru Kamara, a whole list that they're targeting out. Everybody reacted. I kept quiet. I did not feel that that was a genuine one. But this one, coming fast on the heels of those audios, I think is a genuine threat. And Usman Sow is my friend. I don't have anything against him. Usman knows that. I'm not going personal with anybody on this. My life is being threatened in my country. I'm not going to take it. I went to the police headquarters to report it. They tried to downplay it. We had a shouting match. I with walked. the police? Yeah, because the guy, he asked me the suspect. I said, Adam Abaru Abu Bakar Jawara on Usman Sow, the police officer. <laughs> she was scared. She ran away. <laughs> Napoleon was there. <laughs> she <laughs> ran away to the to the scene. No, I, 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 I suspect you are. Yes, he says why I said President Adam Abaro, <laughs> Usman so S I S D G. Abu Bakar Jawara she said She ran away. She came back. He said witnesses. I said the entire Gambian social media, and the police, the male police officer said, "No, I mean you have to be specific. Otherwise, you don't have a case." I said, "Oh, Baraka Dingo Tete la Puriya for Modu Sabele for a case sort of for Maxon. Na doya le na neng from Kono Fata." And the senior officers asked me to go and write my statement. Is it my duty to write my statement? What are they paid for? Because I have cool relationship with all the security heads in this country. Out of respect for them, I accepted that I'll go and write my own statement. I've not done it yet. I'm not sure I will do it. Today, I spent more than $50,000 to cater for my personal security in a country where I'm paying taxes. This is completely unconscionable. In a country that's going through a transition no, with a truth and reconciliation commission going on. No, 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 no,
technology is advanced. We are in a new era. Your man, me, must not talk with being the one sending those messages, being the one sending those text messages. Okay, I agree. You have to protect yourself. You want to downplay the threats. No, not downplaying the threats. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, I agree. It's good. You have taken taking steps. Yes. Why? Because right now, then there is a political scene. Tell me, more harm ne. That's why just so babuga de, and then people are saying. So that justifies threatening people's lives. Definitely not. Why? Yo, somebody like you, Mama Nsaba, le hamna ne. You're somebody who's very factual. You're somebody who goes by the facts. So with this new technology and everything, right? What I'm trying to say is yes. um, politics yes. so why today you're not, you feel that you were threatened mm -hmm. and you have taken steps mm -hmm. I would say why not the, the point is only I didn't even say that that is the case I just went to present okay. my case to the police to investigate but they didn't even have the decency to listen to me yeah. what do you expect if one of the accused is building police stations and the police is giving you certificates of recognition this country is messed up it's rotten to the core because I'm not on the text messages, especially WhatsApp, mom. It's very I difficult. said Usman Sow is my friend. I will <laughs> never lie against him or, uh, or, or get mom, engaged in any swear. It's easy image. because everybody kind of. Yeah, it's not the first and it's backed up by an audio recorded from the NPP regional office. It's yeah. not a joke. So, with yeah. all of this mess, yes. Like, Ika Banko, Ika Banko, Ika Banko, um, Jube Nyaminko, security mess, like the Domoro Mansoto, Ian Yung Kuo, and Be for Tenti. Muna ati na atol lafta kana UDV atol yamera na atol nata atol benyi be fix no la nyadi le in five years. Well, the way you are making seems like everything is not functioning. How are you going to fix that? How who is going to? No, how no, is anybody able to fix this then? Nobody said everything will be fixed in five years. You need be a short term plan, sort of a medium term and long term. Okay. What we could cannot afford to delay. Mm -hmm by even a millisecond mm. is the restoration of national security, the safety of citizens and residents. That cannot be there. That's immediate effect. Mm -hmm. Mm. Institutional reform, that is short term to medium term. It cannot go beyond that because nobody is going to be here forever. America is what it is today, more than 270 years mm -hmm. after Abraham, uh, Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and co left the scene because they have institutions. Luckily, we have a constitutional lawyer at the helm of affairs, trained lawyers, international civil servants, ex-public servants. We got what it takes. We'll fix this country, inshallah. Speaking of fixing, fixing the country, um, we will just have to do what I do. This is the Barra White Paper. You're, mm -hmm. You've been banned for life. Mm -hmm. So now let's say there's a change of government. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that a lot of people would want to know how that can be changed mm -hmm. if the UDP government wins and want to give you job in this country mm -hmm. so I, I don't know much about the law mm -hmm. or how those things would be fixed yeah. but then yeah. as we speak right now mm -hmm. Sabali is banned to promote TLA mm -hmm. in Gambia mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. or and I stand to be corrected mm -hmm. um, his excellence so UDP government knew it then make sure um, the findings from the Commission then make sure you know it's implemented mm -hmm. so if mm. the findings are saying that somebody like Momo de Sabali should be banned mm -hmm. and your party leader mm -hmm. is saying that I would make sure that these things are done. Mm -hmm. How does those two, is it not conflicting or not conflicting uh, per se? Why? Jeff, I would see your, don't you sit and say, okay, um, you are not going to be able to live in the world. You are not going Party leader, you are not going to be able to live in not pour jouer la ligue ouais ne moi falloussi ne soumanyo et lui mon dîner gis ne tahaona mais mon monsieur Sabali du ne cas si c'est une position bim ne carré na well uh, it's a good question actually because um, but I think lui help moi man dema am certain principles singa ham ne they are metaphysical man dema believe ne domi ara mon autre détermine sur ma destiny and always when you are here commission be voir voir faire the same thing là de voir qu'Allah humma malik al mulk tout il mulk man tasha ou tanzi ul mulk man tasha but to resume and to show to the lumen to show the only God yala my fall my folly my job chair my one chair so man believe none a little can forget on the moves are not relevant in the Gambian public discourse right now so man non you lend on fight 2017 2018 that's why I was all over the place fighting them bullet for bullet bomb for bomb you know guiding feel you it was a witch hunt against me clear cut the white paper is this intention that a few people wrote the white paper from the emanating from the commission report that also recommended that Tariq Musa and his TK motors be banned, 
Tariq and not do doing, business with government. Exactly. Tariq is doing business. Yeah. Limoy the biggest yabata in the history of the country. Why Modu Sawale can look up. Now, Baro definitely def nyom Mamburenja, yung si government bilegi nyom alaji sise. Arama M4. You know, so, so they did this thing. Why? So chege, if you are observing, man, I'm going to court. Yeah. And you know my lawyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, all I all think all. this is a country of law, <laughs> and, yeah. and I believe the law will prevail at the end. Man, yakam tiuma. I'm not in a haste to get into office. I'm enjoying my life as as it is, man. I'm a happy guy. So, what's gonna happen? So, check out what's happening in the courts. Successive appeal court decisions. a commission of inquiry is not a court of oh, law. To implement a white paper or a commission decision, you have to go to court. I'm free as a bird in the air. For that See day, you at State House 2022, for inshallah. For I just want to clarify, lawyer Osinu Dabo, he died for a white paper beginning. He he was very vocal. Sahne, you know, you cannot ban a young person. Time was a sabal nekuton APR UDP. The Munu law ban ko hamme young person at this age ngane kodo ligi for life. Munu lulu lulu ken moro ko halat head roll ko halat. He did an audio. In fact, Lulu de Mona. Why man bima? It's a recent interview. He did. Yeah, it's okay. I, I don't ban think. Me? For that, one that didn't implement. Yeah. Why if he banned me? He he Come spoke against. He spoke well, against the ban. I, I, I think ne. Do form rec, but yeah. individual thing ban. I think ne yeah. lawyer that was as a man of law will yeah. always go by the law. Yeah. And man, we must say, I believe the law is on my side because I was handpicked, which haunted to be. When I read book on some gathering, we must demand the woman the fee, born bread, but I'll be buried here with dignity, and I will go back into public office. Can we not see Dara? Can we not see anything? If I may quote Big Far. Nal Winter. So twenty twenty one. Hey, we not a buy La Faru. Kaka for Nal Winter. Nal Winter. Twenty twenty one. Six months to election. Inshallah. UDP. Um. Ninga momo suri ya alkalu winda. You you guys are battling with um with percentage. But tonya tonya. Sabali. A four man dia. Ninga for young Alamo, Najel Malik, and Nabro, but not She doesn't know what she's talking about. I like that guy, by the way. Karakumo for Najel is a great guy. Malik Sen, saluto be, complimento. I remember my interview with Amad. I said this, and I still stand by that. The money, NPP, if there's any party they're eating into, it's UDP at GDC. Because Borough is from UDP. And fi they can be politic be is by region at tribe. Mama Kande, Akbaro Nyuju Gebe in a region. He's eating into Mama Kande's base also. So Lo Lafiwa, Mune Hauma Lumawa. But that is the fact. Why? GDC at UDP la baro di jail. Atol B, baro la executive B. Have B of UDP la wa. I found na jail be jail name bepare. Lo laiwa. You are full of jail, full full of jail. You talk, you talk. Full full of money, full full of jail. Full of jail. Initially. Full of jail. Baro UDP la jail at GDC. So super original is GDC. In last election, what percentage of UDP amount? Twenty. How much? Seventeen percent. Seventeen percent. Being done on their own. If I'm only borrowing from the Nigerian government, seven percent. Legi. So borrow is like seven percent. We instead put ten percent. But we're not going to come on a week. My dynamics change now. We're not going to start selling our. Go on. Now the borrow being break away. Yeah. Of course, most of UDP because he can resonate with them. Yeah. Why I believe in the fin tolu ni si part si elections kui far far ngam pare. It's the silent majority. You talk and carry ni decide a good. Wow. Nyo 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 ni nga hamne mo la. Wow. Why hanga ne balo? Manli ma jema establish fi moi. Balo fan la jele. Wa bo bo fak na mo mo sabre sabre. Paro 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 nga. Wa paro na wa. Wa legi me mo mantam ma. Gis nga man I'm going to say lima gis si politik. I don't think nobody. Mm. has a direct access to the realities of this country right now more than Mumuru Sabali. Okay. And I can tell you for sure UDP will win based on the facts on the ground. Okay. And we are saying that, but we are not complacent. Mm. As we are speaking, UDP people are walking Kaina to Khartoum from Swiss to Germany to America to Russia, Senegal. Now you, I get calls from all over the world. UDP, we know we are leading now. We are continuing to work hard. You saying Barrow took from UDP. That is true. Yeah. In the beginning, and, and only one nako, yim jil jil nako. Mm. But Baro defa mislead a lot of people at the time. Nini den forgone. Because there are certain people, even when the rift was obvious, they were denying that Dabo and, and Baro had a problem. Yeah. So, Lolo defa nah new bari. Mm. Why new bari si Lolo tam delu si nain? Kena si nyom ansuma nanjai. I'm going to take him to the party leader right now. Mune lim def si coalition 2016. Uh, Duko muna netalisa. Why, after because of this confusion, they have pulled back and you have dozens of youth groups. Do sa no mung lena topa desi yeb mune nyom decide nene they are coming to UDP. 
when it comes to this regional politics bu baro buga def urr ñun duñ fa daan def moj noy sa apart from ñom amadou kora nga xamne they are strong rules ñun musu ñoo dem wulli we are building a bureau in wulli 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 west another one is coming up in unheard of baro fim wone fofu la joge baro kunda fofu la dem toj fa isi gayami gambia for five years and peace building ñoo ñoo save the, the life of baro's government suma xale yi dañ the most critical guy the most influential guy for omar sanyam mo ñew ne bokana udp gimara dama don drive it was not my destination a full of village sara sambel ñu stop suma moto bi ñu ne ma kay ñun dañ buga usenu dabo ñew fi isul ñu t-shirt yi usenu dabo banko ti ñaata mani boto euh dala ci wuli kilin kemel lulu these are real bread and butter issues ñu da dañ sona sara sambel ma dem next do bakadaji the most populated voter town in gimara baros bakiat ma dem waxtan ak youth si overnight all the youths came to udp the other spur of president came in here mune dafa me mo may youth si fit so udp is going to have a rally in bakadaji first week of june is simple baro has a fleet of toyotas bi ma calculate the the value is almost 400 million youth si vest bu ñoo play sa amuñ ko modou sa bari mo len ko jox these gambian youths are not fools so baro lim jël ñoñu ngé del si ñu fa nek ñu ngi discourage ñu ngi gëna bena bena baro is in panic mode motax ñu def all these threats state house 2022 nara invite ataya it's a joke suma imam tafsir gëne xeer ba na way xeer reer mom ba hut i mean imitation lim de def mo you either fall short or you overdo gambia na xeer reer dañ overdo this is democracy on steroids it's bad for democracy in this country anything political parties in a country that's less than a local government area in 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 Nigeria i think it's a joke too many uh, chiefs too few indians i think iec should come up with a clear cut rule to cut away yeah. all these yeah. mbojomboyo political parties let them go and play nawetan qualifying rounds it's a joke i'm serious <laughs> i mean lu xew moy oli yo xam nga fatouré xamna duñ ko ñeme ñewa most of these new political parties have not met the requirement for iec is out in the open ali mo waron jay please ñaan neel na ngir yaa bu yaa suñu dikka bi don't spoil our democracy implement the rules loy ragal way loi bi loi bi mo len ko meyut loi bi meyut len la ko lolo yu abi fa may sarta xamna ne ñu ne so am political party da nga wara am office 50 exactly how many of them have it how many of these mbolo jowol political parties who cannot even yun dawan daw yi mbojo mbojo len ay uh, uh, gap mbojo mbojo political party la citizens alliance mbojo mbojo political party and others si. yeah, they are all mbojo mbojo no, si, no, vula sabali they've not met the requirements and i know some parties that fight signatures of so called potential voters pour nax i i see them i think that there should be an audit of all recently registered political parties whether they actually met these requirements this should be done by iec because hamna you need a bureau in all Absolutely. constituencies and you know it should be done sure if that is Happening. Wahal mo wursa wali bay. Wahal. Wahal wahal sa last last thing. Man bala ma de wahal last. Bu ko na ham. No, only the for am slu substantial lu mo wax. Which is good for the health of our democracy. Let the IEC go by the rules. Wahal you victimize can go and audit these people. Bari mo na ham. Ba jom ba jalen da ham nañ ko di. They know it. Why bu ko na ham ne pour soy run for presidency. Ham na ne yo nga need signatures. Signatures. How many nga need from every region? before you can even come senegal in the perenas lañ ko oyé i think we should do that i think um, we, we don't have, have it we have a we have a limit signature being us all but i think we need no pour ñun fuñ ko amé moy pour register but i think senegal lu ño def we need to do it because we need a certain percentage of the registration ñom tam dañ toy dañ change sen loi bi sax mo tan senegal it has to happen otherwise Eighteen ballot boxes. Ban burung ngaku duga. Ati parang gundam. The most of them zero zero vote lah. Mana ada? You need the more political parties, the better for the incumbent. Well, of course. So maybe that's why they're encouraging them because Baro is scared to death. Mana yang ragal? Ah, yang dia dia jalan sen, jalan sen gay, yep gay, yep angge nyong dangka dangka. Yang tam sen gay yang dia dem. Fan amut fan the dead, the old horses. You know we are getting young yellow lions coming in. vibrant and energetic why young one see um, let's look at it this way yeah. come come any man as a young person he yeah. now make come indi why ninga yo yang ngi ñoo di yo da nga ñoo yo da nga ñoo udp why legi ninga wax mak yoy nonu ñoy suñu demé ñi len ndiran bi def dem magi amuñ dara xam nga do silent undecided voters see your category see your category be nek yeah they listen to me momadou sabali and yang jaya and others not the old horses Yes. Bañu MP. Wo tambi ñu 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 
contact this is me nimko ma se and for the first time mo mo ta wale ya mo hulo wale wow hulo so when we were sitting before the interview my father mo mo ta wale ya mo na ma yo ki hulo ya mo and until before we started the man ko na father tell me not be part of this because i would na hulo ya mo na sabe but then again as we said it's a, it's a different living it's, it's about talking about issues yeah. not personal things not personal attacks so if Mama de Sabeli can sit at Kirfatu and we have a very nice conversation yeah. definitely shows the the ball game have changed mm -hmm. and dumatai di kowa Well, I change, change and send Rido. It's not no, very. We, it's year, not we very fair. NPP. It Now looks like it NPP looks like NPP have. background, yeah, and, NPP and I'm sure Sisla will not like this. I'm sure Sisla will not like. Three seasons. We are doing. Season four. Nungi nungi nungi. Thank you. Bepare bepare bepare. Oli is dressed in a political party scholar. Man, man, do my affairs see the party you are so from there, Gani. You you are more GDC today. GDC, not GDC. GDC. I GDC. Oh, you are MC Nalamere. Man, 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 GDC lah, bro. But um, then again, um, thank you very much. And content in your Amlafi, this is different from the Momo Disabli that we we'll see. The Momo Disabli that's always shouting, Momo Disabli that's fighting with everybody. Yep. So it's good people to see the other part of Momo Disabli that's a bit calm and collected, and then you know, un so un unprovoked, <laughs> you may add. Thank <laughs> 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 Cairo e sabati mm -hmm. ma kangol be kering man sakunda be danila insecurity member ko kay simfal taje ba be duala Cairo ni tenko e sabati banko kan carte mm -hmm. fayonga ke Cairo kono ay ban Cairo kono ay wati usen da wata mbi thank you very much mr saul thank you very much only ka cha dia ta ka cha kuma ya ta nyin ka cha si fal le kuma ya ta ka molu hakilos um yirwandi ko la min be kering banko kan to nya to nya to min be na sol kono ko be kan al kan bele affect so be te ata ka ka cha ka nyu hakilo bulandi min be kering man sakunda lo la moneti bare hada ba dingol fana lo la menti voter registration be kela mol be se finti sa ko funding kel a ni mo pli le timi an ko will do it on every episode ka mol fini funding kel nyanta finti la nga fa le ko 2016 funding kel le fali ko yang o to funding kel le finti ye finti registration o ke sa ko mo sol ye finti e voye ta ye la carte ke sol ni ni carte ke so wala la ko mo te ni carte ke so bota jay man carte fay do ko ral kanam fadi amor al nga ta register na carte fay mo mo do la min dia te ya fay ye o to mbeten to ba ke sabali a oli gere jura gere bu haba o tan bi nehna hulo amud ya sabali gere bu haba o la bi jena o la bi jena di jura len hulo a di gere sun technical team bi chas akro em bi ñom ñep di len gere di len santa bu haba thank you very much and good night to you all see you next week better and stronger as the sole ground operator at the Banjul International Airport with an expansion in travel services customers are assured of GIA's capacity to cater for all their travel needs provided by professional experienced and ever smiling staff GIA's Hajj package and services by far the best in the country give the customers the opportunity for a memorable Hajj experience. For a more efficient cargo services, GIA means business as it launches its new multi-million dollar ultra-modern cargo complex to revitalize and stimulate air transport. GIA, the pride of the Gambia. In communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. 
quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, yeah, I'm